Good morning, SAR members. This is uh, Tom Bissonette once again at the lake. I actually have to get in my boat today because there's like 800 grandchildren screaming back at the house. At least it seems like 800 grandchildren, but that's good. That's why we have this place is for them. Anyway, I just want to give you a quick rundown of what to expect in this week's Did You Know? Um, starting things off, we have a, a little advertisement there from our friend Steve over at Low Cost Auto Body. He's got a launch, uh, they call it an X431 Pad 2. It's a scan tool that's probably over $3,000. Steve's prepared to sell it at a very good price because he primarily does um, vehicles for the rental car companies and because they're all newer vehicles, he pretty much has to use an OEM scan tool. So he's using, I believe, Aztec as his tool of choice. So this one here is of no value to him. He's ready to sell it at a very good price and I think it'll fit uh, a lot of needs for a lot of shops out there. So if you're looking for a scan tool, uh, contact Steve at low cost. He's got a good deal. I also want to let you know that I'm working hard right now on the SAR Fall Conference. We're just trying to get all the details put together. Um, right now the hotel is all set to go. Uh, currently we can have 150 people in the building at any one time. Uh, they actually even take your temperature with a little temperature gun. We're going to order SAR face masks, so when you get there you'll get a SAR face mask and uh, going to ask you not to hug and kiss everybody. How does that sound? Uh, but we're going to have a great event. We're still looking at having a little golf kind of get together on Thursday afternoon. It'll be September the 10th, so if you're a golfer and you want to network and get to meet some people in a more casual setting, we're going to have a golf event on Thursday afternoon and go back to the hotel Thursday evening have a meal and some fellowship uh, should be a good time. On Friday, Dave Lure is going to dial in from his place down in Nashville, Tennessee, and he's going to do about a two-hour uh, webinar, live WebEx, I guess you call it, uh, on body shop management. And for those of you that don't know Dave, uh, the guy has just studied this business, and it's such a wonderful opportunity. If you've ever thought, man, how do I do all this stuff, you need to come out and see what Dave's got to say. <coughs> Pardon me. Then we're going to have the trade show on Friday afternoon and right now I'm still working on the details but I think what we'll end up doing is because of uh, limiting the amount of people that can come to the event we'll probably book you in for two hour intervals. Well you know you might come from one till three and then from three till five and from five till seven and seven till nine that kind of deal. So we'll see how that works out we're still working with the details and of course on Saturday we have our AGM which will be kind of an all day event. Uh, SGI is going to be talking about their safe and quality auto repair program and you know what the chances are of extending that or maybe not extending that. ICAR is going to be there. We're going to have a bunch of OEM suppliers that are going to be there talking about OEM certification. What does that mean to you as a shop? What does the future look like? Uh, I think it's going to be a great day and uh, it's going to be both online and in person, the whole event. But we have a company called Aspen Films that will be uh, recording the whole thing and presenting it online. So if you're not comfortable with being in a group of people, you can always watch it online. Anyway, next week we are going to be starting our destructive test wells and SGI will start paying for them as of Monday, July 27th. So if you've got bulletin number 84, you're going to find out that they're going to start paying for that as long as you document, show that the OEM repair procedures require it and that you have the photo documentation to back it up. Uh, on thir on yeah, Thursday, the 30th of July, Shane DeRose will be doing a Lunch and Learn with SGI, just kind of giving you the rundown on exactly how they'd like to have that stuff recorded. And also included in this uh, little newsletter, a PPG uh, worksheet so that you can actually keep track of your time and uh, keep track of how much material you use, that kind of stuff. Finally, in closing, we have uh, an elite webinar on Tuesday, the 28th of July. And it's going to be on the Society of Collision Repair Specialists, SCRS. Uh, Dave's going to be talking with uh, Aaron, who is the executive director of that, just to give you an idea of what the Society of Collision Repair Specialists does for the industry. And I want you to know that SAR is an affiliate member of that. Uh, we get a lot of information from them. I, I know a lot of it's U.S. based, but a lot of it is very pertinent to our industry. Also this week I'm going to be getting the Auto House uh, Technologies KPI report. I thought I'd have it last week, but unfortunately it's going to be this week. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you. I had a really good discussion last week with SGI in regards to PDR accreditation. And if any of you shops out there would like to be part of that committee that sits down with SGI and the PDR shops, let me know. Uh, I would love to have you involved. I also have been reaching out to Dave uh, Flockhart from BTAG. I'd like to get going on BTAG again in the fall here and last thing and not least 
Uh, I've sent out a couple of survey monkey surveys, uh, one to the suppliers and one to the body shops. Really do need your feedback, and I know you're busy, 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 but please, folks, the sooner you get that information to me, I can start making some decisions on our fall conference. Anyway, that's it for today. It's a quick little blurb on what's happening in this week's Did You Know?